Everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B. Cook. Subscribers appreciate you. New viewers, you gotta subscribe so you get the awesome recipes like this one. Today, we're going to be doing a slow cooker recipe, but I gotta start it on the stove top. Um, so I'll tell you right off, you could absolutely use a Dutch oven and do this all in one pot, um, but I'm trying to show you how you can do some stuff in the slow cooker, especially since we're in the fall and a lot of people like to have those nice comfort meals. What are we making? We're gonna make a steak and potato stew. So. I got uh, about three pounds. This happens to be stew beef, um, but use a, a, a nice cut of meat, not something crazy expensive, uh, and it just needs to be cubed. And then I have six gold potatoes that I've just sliced. I sliced and then cut them in half just so that they're a little more close to bite size. One white onion, uh, chopped, just a rough chop, and uh, one tablespoon of garlic. In my pot, or my uh, skillet, I have one tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm going it just slightly over medium. Uh, to start that off, and I'm going to add in that onion, and I'm going to add in that garlic, and I'm going to start sautéing this for about probably three or four minutes just so we can get a little translucent, see you in four. It's been about three and a half, four minutes, uh, and the onion is starting to get a little translucent, a little yellow color to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in all that beef. Mix that up a little bit. Now you could go reverse and do the beef first, um, but I like to get the flavor of the onion into the beef a little more. All we're trying to do is get a little bit of brown on this. And just do a quick dusting of black pepper. If I had to guess, I'd say a teaspoon, but use that to your flavor. And remember, black pepper can be spicy, so if you go heavy, you're gonna get some spice to your soup. Uh, sea salt, same thing, I'm just gonna go on high. I guess that was about a half a teaspoon. Uh, so we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes and just try to brown them up a little bit uh, so that we have some good uh, brown, which is gonna give that extra flavor to our overall soup flavor. Back in 10. Gone ahead and dumped in the potatoes and I've given them just a very light dusting of pepper, uh, the black pepper and the sea salt, and I mean very light. I'd be surprised if it was a quarter of a teaspoon. Over here, we've been cooking for about 10 minutes and you can see there's still some red in there and that's okay because we're not trying to cook this through. We're trying to just get it, get that brown so we get some of that yummy goodness uh, into our soup. I'm going to take this, add it into this, and we'll pick up from there. All right, so we got everything in. Let's add this beef stock so that we can make it a soup. We're going to cook on high for four hours. You could go low for eight. Okay, that's 32 fluid ounces of beef stock. See you in four hours. All right, it's been about uh, three hours, a little over three hours. And you can see that it is definitely cooked down. These potatoes are gonna break nice and easily. So everything was looking good. You have two options. You can take some of this out, like so. Mix in some cornstarch to make a slurry to thicken it. Or if you like it a little creamier, you can do like I'm gonna do. So this is, um, 16 ounces of sour cream. I'm gonna put half of that in. Okay. And then this is one cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna pour all that in. I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna let it cook the rest of the time, which is about 50 minutes right now. And then we'll be back and we'll be ready to serve. All right, so we've done, done our time. Let's see what it bought us. You can see that it's thickened up a bit and you got that nice cream texture to it. And I told you that these guys would be nice and tender. They're barely tapping it. Let's spoon some of this out. We'll get some of that steak along with our potatoes. That's right, I said potatoes. If my wife makes fun of me. There you go, two nice ladles. You could probably hit this with some scallions or maybe some chopped parsley. Or if you're really feeling decadent, a little bit of shredded cheddar just to top it off. Uh, this will keep in the refrigerator for a couple of days. So you can see I made plenty to go ahead. Uh, you know the drill, subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Check back for the next video and as always, take care.